Lost in the Woods, a photographic fantasy by Carl R. Sams II and Gene Stoich. A photographic fantasy, Lost in the Woods, by Carl R. Sams II and Gene Stoich. Carl R. Sams II writes the words. Gene Stoich does the pictures, which are in this case are photographs. For those who protect wild places and care for wild things. The spring frogs, sing-songing with a thousand trilling voices, were silenced by the rising sun. New life came to the woods before the sun touched the tops of the trees. He slept quietly in the tall grass on the north edge of the meadow where the trees start the forest. Get up, get up, get up, shouted the red-winged blackbird. Shh, shh, hushed the mouse. I think he's lost. Just let him sleep. I've been watching you. You've been alone for a long time, said the chipmunk, stuffing another acorn into his fat cheeks. I hear you're lost. Mama said to wait right here, whispered the fawn. She will come back. Ah, so you're the lost babe in the woods, announced the cardinal. I'll use my red, red color and fly through the treetops, signaling for help. I'm not lost, said the fawn, not looking up at all. She will come. She said she would. The sun climbed to a higher place in the sky, drying out the morning dew. The fawn stood alone in the tall, shadowed woods. Stretch your legs to make them strong, but don't wander too far. Where did you come from? Should he be here? The goslings jabbered all at the same time. Where is his mother? His ears are so, oh, oh, big. Is he dangerous? Where is, is your mama, hissed the mother goose. She said she'd be back. She will, called out the startled fawn, turning toward the woods that seemed larger and lonelier than before. Did I go too far? The sound of loud voices and laughter carried on the wind. The bird suddenly stopped singing. The fawn dropped down to hide in the tall grass. When trouble comes looking for you, lie still. Ooh, so very still. Don't blink an eye. Don't twitch an ear. Let your spots work and don't make a sound. You are a newborn, born without a scent. Trouble's nose will not find you. Well done, chirped a voice from nowhere. I can hear you, said the fawn, but I don't see you. That's because I'm the master of camouflage, boasted the tree frog. Green is my color, I find my color, and I'm out of sight. Look how he used his spots, he did, he did, said Katie did, looking down from her leaf. Mother Doe would be so pleased. Tut, 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 chattered the squirrel. Do you suppose Spotty's hungry? Tut, 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 not to worry, not to worry. I've tucked them here, I've tucked them there. Hundreds of acorns, seasons ago. And I did not tell you, I do ooh-ooh share most definitely. Ooh, yes, 
Yes, flapped the dragonfly. I'll zoom, zoom through the meadow as fast as my wings can fly. I will bring back food. Good idea, said the turtle. I'll just wait right here. Do I see a who, 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 who do I see? Who did the little saw wet owl? Someone's moving through my woods. I saw it, saw it. Who's coming through the woods? Where, bleated the fawn. Suddenly, a shadow darkened the warm sun. The fawn turned to look into the dark brown eyes of his mother. I knew you would come. Remember this, she said, licking his spotted coat smooth. He lifted his ears to listen to Mama's words once more. You are a newborn, born without a scent. I have to leave so Trouble's nose cannot find you. Stretch your legs, make them strong, but don't go far. Soon it will be your time, your time to follow me. Her words were remembered as he drifted off to sleep. The sun chased away the night as it had done many times before. The meadowlark sang his morning song. Days passed by and the fawn grew stronger, as did the other babes in the woods. I can. I know I can, puffed the determined raccoon, struggling to keep from falling off the log. I, I can... Do it. What are you doing? asked the fawn. Climbing trees. I'm getting good at it too, bragged the little raccoon. Do you climb trees? I don't think I can climb trees, answered the fawn. But my legs are getting stronger. Tomorrow is the most important day of my life, chirped the baby chickadee dee dee. Tomorrow I'm fledging. You are what? asked the fawn, wrinkling his nose. Fledging? I'm going to flutter my wings and fly. I need to work out a few wobbles. Then I'll fly up there with the big birds. A great, great day indeed. When do you fledge? I don't know if I can fly, said the puzzled fawn, but I think my time is near. Could it be? Is it his time? sputtered the raccoon from above. Up popped the goslings. Say what? Say what? Say what? It's time! It's time! shrieked the red-winged blackbird. Ready? asked Mother Doe. There's so much to see. Yes, it's time. I'm ready. And I knew he wasn't lost. Can you turn through the pages and help me find my friends? They are lost in the woods. Tiger, swallowtail, butterfly, toad, chipmunk, caterpillar, grasshopper, cottontail rabbit, dragonfly, White-footed mouse, 13-lined ground squirrel.